Hello guys and welcome to the channel. I am Marv and this is Readings by Marvelous Madame Tarot. This is going to be your weekly energy reading, carrying you through the energy time frame of July 9th through July 16th. Um, this is going to be the Venus um, and Leo inspired reading and this is going to be for the beautiful sign of, let me fix this, of Scorpio. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. With that being said, Scorpio, everything you need is below in the description box for you and your collective. In the pink comment for you and your collective. And has been covered in the intro to this video. Okay. Let's go ahead and get into your oracle card. And that is Twin Flames. Great. Your passion ignites. So it's definitely clear. That for you, Scorpio, this is your twin. All right. Your passion is going to be ignited. Now, Scorpio, let's keep it all the way above. If this is a twin, this person is just as jacked up as you are. <laughs> but no, seriously, they're very intense. They're very deep. And if this is your twin, that says a lot about this person. All right. What it also is indicating to me is that it has been a rough go of it for you too. Your other individual probably doesn't know what the hell is going on. It's been so up and down and rocky. Um, you know, a twin flame journey is not an easy journey if this is true, if it's truly a twin flame. But it damn sure isn't, uh, is it wine and roses or a cakewalk for going through it with a Scorpio. I'm just going to keep it all the way above. It's not. I don't give a hell where your Scorpio is. I also I have a touch of it in my first house. Although I am a Libra rising, I do have a touch of Pluto up there, too. So um, I understand how that can be. Not necessarily. Yeah. And I also have it in an outer planet in my second house, which, yeah, there's that. That explains the reason why I'm doing this. All right, let's go ahead and get your cards, uh, pal A or 1, B or 2, 3 or C. Free yourself. Aries had that card. Pal 2, give your relationship a chance and work on this partnership. Pal 3, stay optimistic about your love life. All right, take a moment to stare at which pal makes sense to you. For yourself, it's time to take back control of your life. Give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. Stay optimistic about your love life. Your positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. If you can see that, I like to show the actual, if it's one word or two, I like to show. I love that font. Okay. I'm going to be back here shuffling. You go ahead and stare at which one. Okay. I'm going to get three clarifiers per pal and give you a what they're not saying at the end. Pal A or free yourself. We got uncharted territory. One or you to them or them to you. You're not freeing yourself from things that has happened in the past. And as a, and, and as a result of that, you are so far from the uncharted territory that you need to be in with a new level of unconditional love. You have to take back control of your life in order to walk into that. A lot of people, especially fixed energy, and I speak from experience on, I'm assuming, the giving in and the receiving in. We want people, and I'm a little bit more emotionally intelligent, but I am sure in my evolution, maybe I made somebody feel this way. Fixed energy um, feels like I want you to walk in, especially fixed water. So I am speaking specifically to you, Scorpio. I don't have any other Scorpio in my chart. But I want you to walk inside of my pain. Whatever the hell is wrong with me, you're going to be down for me because this is what lets me know that you are ride or die. Yes, it's complicated. Yes, it's deep. And sometimes it's not even the type of love that you may want. It may borderline toxicity. It may borderline all sorts of shit. But the, the bottom line is, is I need to know. If I messed up, you messed up. And if I am messed up and you're not messed up and you know, you're going, because you love me, you need to accept this. <laughs> wow. 
Thank you. Somebody has been placed on the pedestal that never um, uh, actually works in the relationship. It actually hurts it. Someone from the past is being placed on the pedestal. Someone that's no longer in this relationship. We have looked for the signs. So in pal A, you are definitely dealing with complicated energy. Wanting to go into uncharted territory, but, 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 but bringing the past in with you. It's not going to work. Pal 2 or B, Twin Flames. All right, so we got twin flames. I was, I'm was, i going to say that whenever the same card comes out, this is your twin flame and you're their twin flame. So it's very intense on both of you guys' end. There is a lot um, in Pile B that you guys have been battling back and forth. You can't stay away from each other, but you get on each other's nerves, okay, at the same time. Um, but... One or both of you does have faith and destiny that things will work out in the end. But you definitely need to work on this partnership because Rome wasn't built in the day. Um, and I know it's hard. And then I also have the card of come to me. So there is definitely an energy of wanting to meet me halfway or wanting to meet each other halfway. I don't feel like when some one of you guys is ready, the other one isn't. And when the other one is ready, the other one isn't. Why are you guys like that? You're not opening up to whatever the possibilities are at the top of the deck. And why? Because in the past, one or both of you has been hurt. Therefore, you have trust issues about really opening up, although this is your twin. So this, if you're just starting your twin flame journey with someone, this is going to be, you're in for a ride. Because there's a lot of work that needs to be done over there. Although it looks like, you know, it's the safest pal. All right, pal. Here we go. Pal three or C, we got rewrite your love story. Opportunities to reconcile love. So although you're being optimistic, um, that opti uh, optimism is bringing someone from the past back. Possibly when we retrograde next week, you're going to start to see that. But you are and will be unclear on what you want, especially if it is a person from the past that is returning, Scorpio. We also have friends. So you are going to be hanging with your friends. Friends play a big part of your optimism right now, which is also a good thing. But I don't think you're going to be 100% clear about rewriting the love story with this, in with this individual. Although you are trying to stay optimistic, I think that if you are in pal C or three, you have um, definitely tried to move on from this. All right, let's get into what they're not saying. And in pal A or one, we do have I suck at goodbyes, but this is only a goodbye for now. Um, so this person needs a lot of time, whoever this is. If they run in and out of your life, either I know you need isolation, isolation, Scorpio. So um, if there is an unwillingness to free yourself uh, from the past, you cannot walk into uncharted territory. Um, and so on this on this end, you guys could have uh, obviously separated. Someone doesn't plan on staying away. Thank you. And on this end, maybe we're better off separated. I told you. The reason why that you feel this way is because you guys are mirroring and maybe separation is what you need. You contemplate that because you feel that every damn thing you've done, it has not worked. That's because you are not giving the relationship a chance and working on it. Um, very two strong sides here in Val B or two, I am feeling. Um, uh, you've met your emotional match and in situations like that, it's always best to go and find somebody else. <laughs> if some people, you know, find somebody else who you are a little bit more, that's a little bit more bendable and foldable and who will work with you instead of somebody that's challenging you. You know why this feels like a challenge? Because there are your mirror reflection. Wow. And pal, three or C, I'm not ready to settle down. Yep. So staying optimistic about the love life is one thing. But when this person comes back in and wants to rewrite 
the past and so forth and so on, I do not think you're going to want to move forward. Um, because I do know that Twin Flame came out and your reading has been the only reading where Twin Flame has come out. I'm going to take an extra couple of moments and get you some Twin Flame cards and Pal B or two. What do we have? This is for Scorpio. Yep. You are my soul greatest love. My soul's greatest love. Yep. Yep, I see, I see in you what I see in me. Twins are mirroring. Now we got a third confirmation that this is your twin. I can't even make it up. Now I know this is a twin flame deck, but the fact that they use twin flame language. Interesting. Let's get one more. You guys are mirroring one another. Like I said, you are exactly the same. I took you for granted and I'm truly sorry. Will you forgive me? More work on this end, but a more profound love. That is definitely for sure. Twin flame journey is not an easy one. So going through it with you loves, I know is terrible. But the amount of love that you're going to get back in return, no other zodiac sign is going to be able to match the intenseness and the depth of this love. Um, so... Wow. Like, share, and subscribe to The Marvelous Tribe. Everything you need, again, is below in the description box, pinned comment, and the intro to this video. And I will see you guys next week in your weekly energy reading and next month when we do this again. Bye, Scorpio.